Hey, good morning. Do you want to know if it's time to throw down your first app of fertilizer on your Bermuda lawn? Uh, let me show you a really quick and easy uh, way to check your soil temp and make that decision. Stay tuned. All right, check out the meat thermometer soil temp test here in Northeast Georgia on April 19th. 57.9 degrees. So what we're looking for is the temps to be consistently above 65 before we drop down our first half of fertilizer for the year. So I'm going to keep checking here in the next few weeks. I think we'll end up getting to that mark consistently. We have been well over 65, um, but we're not quite yet there yet consistently. All right, I hope that quick tip helps you out. Just grab your meat thermometer and uh, poke it down in your soil around four inches and take a look and see what your temps are today. If you're down up under 65 and you aren't really staying above that level consistently, then it's probably not quite yet time to uh, fertilize your Bermuda. Uh, you can also go online and look at some of your soil uh, tools. There's some really great resources available there as well. So uh, thanks for watching. Hey, good morning. I'm gonna shoot just a really quick follow-up video. That first footage I shot when it was really cold and. Uh, showing the soil temps that was probably about a week ago so got the meat thermometer out let's do a quick update a week later and see are the soil temps up above 65 degrees and is it getting close to time to fertilize you can see the lawn behind me i'm thinking based on the green up is probably getting pretty close so let's check it out okay here's the lawn starting to get mostly green got some weed pressure but we'll be spraying those later this week but let's go out here where I checked the soil temp before and let's give it a poke with the, the meat thermometer and see what we're looking at. Alright. One thing I forgot to mention on that last video though is just make sure um, when you're using a thermometer, you get an instant read thermometer though. One of those standard meat thermometers won't, won't work for you unless you leave it in there for a long time. So do make sure you get an instant read thermometer. So you can see the soil temp 66.5 degrees. That's right at about four inches down. So um, I'm going to look, uh, based on that now, I'm going to look at the online uh, tool that University of Georgia puts out. and. I'm going to see what the soil temps are, are showing on that. And most likely, I'm going to be looking at dropping in the first app of fertilizer this week. 